T13s are better than stickbots is the most idiotic argument I have ever heard in today's video. I'll be explaining why. First and foremost, comparing a T13 to a stickbot is like comparing apples to oranges. I'm pretty sure in terms of products, they share absolutely nothing in common. Stickbots are meant for animation and T13s are meant for animation too? They don't seem to be marketed that way. They just seem to be marketed as toys and that's not a problem per se. But when you're comparing two products, it's kind of hard to compare them when they're two completely different things. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that you can't prefer a T13 to a stickbot because of course everybody can have completely different opinions. And I think that's the issue here. The T13 account has created this completely arbitrary and unnecessary divide in people that are interested in stop motion, toy collecting, action figures, and it's starting to get on my nerves. Honestly, I wasn't even gonna talk about this subject, but every time I post a video, I have the T13 stands in my comments and y'all just look dumb. Like, if I made a video talking about why stickbots were better than T13s, I would expect to get those comments. But it is crazy that I post anything at all, and my comments are just T13 better. You need to get a T13. Stickbots are stupid. Personally, I don't actually mind because it is free engagement, and the videos do so much better when y'all comment that stupid crap. But at the very least, I want to give my opinion on the matter so y'all don't think I'm, you know, turning a blind eye. Like I said, everybody's entitled to their opinion, and people can just prefer different things. I prefer stickbots to T13s because they're unique, they're different. T13s are boring and generic, I'm sorry. Why would I pick a T13 over a Stickfaz or a Modabot or heck, just a normal action figure or a Lego minifigure? You don't see the T13 account comparing themselves to SH Figuarts or Lego or Modabot or Stickfaz, like I just said, even though they are literally the exact same as T13s, just in a different style. The fact of the matter is, T13s aren't unique in the slightest. They're another stop motion type toy trend that'll be gone the next couple years. They have nothing unique to offer compared to their competitors. The reason why people like stickbots is because they're super easy to animate. If I wanted to animate with a T13, I would have to get a whole rigging system done, its whole thing. Stickbots connect to anything smooth. T13s have nothing on their feet to make animating easy. Why would I pick a T13 over a modified or a stickbot? I wouldn't. We could say the point isn't for animation. The point is their posability, their range of accessories, their customizability, and that's completely valid. I have seen their customizability, their posability, their, their accessories, they're all great. But again, why would I pick that over a normal action figure? And I understand why you might want to customize them. I am a customizer. I love customizing stick bots. But the T13s, aside from being able to mix match their parts, you, they're 3D printed. How am I gonna paint that? It would take a bunch of sanding and, and priming and, and filling and d d why? In all actuality, if I had to pick between a T13 or the base model SH Figuarts in terms of customizability, I would pick the SH Figuarts. It's an actual product that was molded in a factory. I mean, I could kind of understand if these things were resin printed, but they seem to be just 3D printed with normal plastic and they look miserable to paint. The other biggest draw for them has to be their posability. And obviously, compared to stickbots, there is absolutely no contest in which one of their posabilities is better. But again, if I pose a stickbot and a T13 in a cool pose, the stickbot just looks more interesting to me. If I see a human doing something neat, I'm gonna be way less drawn to that than a Lego figure doing something neat. You understand where I'm coming at? Sure, posing a stickbot and making them look cool is way more difficult, way more challenging, but it's also way more rewarding and way more interesting. The only thing that the T13s have over stickbots is marketing, and I cannot lie, that is a, an objective fact. The T13 guys are geniuses when it comes to marketing. They attack a recently big but also semi-forgotten about fan base, which brings tons of new eyes to our whole everything that we're doing now, which is absolutely amazing and I love that. But it also means that 90% of the people being reintroduced to stickbots are against them for no reason. It's some genius marketing strategy, it's genius. But my only question for the T13 guys is how come you're not attacking any other stop motion or just toy in general? Again, like I said, they could be attacking Modabot or Stickfaz. I, I know Stickfaz is nothing anymore, but you get what I'm saying. They're basically the same as the T13, and yet they're not comparing themselves to them. They compare themselves to a toy that is completely different because they know it's going to get people commenting, it's going to get people divided, and nobody cares about Modabot or Stickfaz. People do still care about Stickbots, and that's why they're comparing themselves to them. Why don't they compare themselves to action figures? They're not comparing themselves to Marvel Legends or Star Wars Black Series, any SH figures, any Figma, any 
Revotech, heck, Lego. They could compare themselves to Lego minifigures if they wanted to make an argument there, but they're not because they know they're gonna get slammed. Stickbots are just popular enough to where people will care, but they're just niche enough to where it's really easy to create a divide. And that's what annoys me. Actually, it's kind of silly for people to see the T13 videos and automatically be divided against stickbots because someone told you to. Again, I'm not saying you can't like a T13, but I think 99% of the people commenting on my videos that T13s are better don't own one. And that's just silly. Be objective, create your own opinion. If you actually want to choose which is better, buy a stickbot and buy a T13 and compare them and then you can have a valid opinion. But if you're just hating on stickbots because you think hating on stickbots is fun, you look really dumb. And then here's my message for the stickbot community. You guys also look a little silly. Like I said, the T13 people are just making fun of us because they think it's funny and because they can and because they're getting a literal rise out of us. Just stop. There's a reason I haven't responded to any of the T13 comments because they're worthless. Stop getting worked up about it. The more you respond to T13 comments, comment on the T13 videos, stitch T13 videos on TikTok, the more you fuel the fire. If you actually think stickbots are better than T13s, you have no reason to attempt to prove that to anyone. I mean, come on, the T13 guys are beefing with a bunch of children. You realize that, right? Don't let them get the better of you. Take everything I just said with a massive grain of salt if you want, because I don't own a T13. Frankly, I have no intention of owning a T13, they just don't look interesting to me. Again, they're, they're 3D printed, why would I buy one of those when I could reasonably make one at home? Plus, all the points I mentioned earlier about like the customizability, the posability, how easy they are to animate with, stuff like that. Again, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, and this video was just my own. The only reason I made this was simply because people keep mentioning it in my comments, and I just wanted to give my opinion so I never have to talk about it again. If you are interested, I may consider buying one of these things and doing a fair IRL comparison, so let me know in the comments if you would want to see that. But outside of that, that stickbot channel will not be covering this stupid topic again, unless this video blows up. Then I will most definitely cover it again. I'm, I'm, com I'm being completely honest. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you prefer stickbots or T13s in the comments. If you're interested in joining my Discord server or following any of my socials, those links will of course be in the description. Make sure you use creator code GooseHamlet in the Fortnite item shop. Keep on hunting my Goose Ham sandwiches, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.